Hi everyone, this is Dr. Chihuahua. In this short video, I'm going to talk about the relationship of increased estrogen and how it affects the thyroid gland. Now, most commonly, hypothyroid disease is 10 times more common in females than males. But I'm not saying that males cannot get it. It's just more common in females because you're more estrogen dominant as opposed to males, we're more testosterone dominant. Now, if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below and right next to it is a bell notification. And if you're watching on Facebook, Thank you very much. I always appreciate a growing audience. Please hit the like button, and if you find this information valuable, please share with a friend. So when it comes to estrogen and the thyroid, now estrogen is really tricky because estrogen is processed in the liver, and thyroid is processed in the liver. Now with the thyroid, you have the hypothalamus telling the anterior pituitary gland to stimulate the thyroid gland to release thyroid hormone. We have T4, which is inactive thyroid hormone, and T3. 93% of T4 is inactive. Yes, there's 7% T3 active that's released in the, in the thyroid gland. It gets shunted to the liver and that T4 is converted to active T3 through the liver, through the gut, and through the peripheral tissue. Now with estrogen, like I said, estrogen is processed in the liver and same as thyroid. So what happens is that when you have too much estrogen levels, whether it be diet, whether it be alcohol, whether it be birth control pills, what it does, it boggles down the liver. So what that does to your thyroid conversion, it slows down the conversion of inactive T4 to active T3. So in turn, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna have increased blood estrogen levels. Now what happens is that you do get the weight gain, but that's later on. When you get the weight gain, brain fog, so forth and so on, that's later on, and that's typically due to the fact of low levels of T3. Now remember, T3 is the active level, is the active hormone. Now the thing about T3, T3, yes, it is a thyroid hormone, but in addition, it's a neurotransmitter. T3, it's a neurotransmitter, which works on the limbic system, it works on the mood system, in addition, it helps regulate serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. So when you have low levels of, of T3 due to increased estrogen, this is where you're going to get brain fog, this is where you get mood disorders, this is where you're just going to not feel like doing anything, and of course you're going to gain weight due to high estrogen levels. Now again, the symptoms of low T3, high estrogen, estrogen dominance is fatigue, mood disturbances, weight gain, anxiety, muscle soreness, that's just to name a few. Now there's a lot others as well, but I'm just naming a handful. Because I want to get to the why. Why does all this happen? Because remember, I come back to this. Estrogen is, is processed in the liver. Thyroid, 60% of thyroid hormone, the conversion is processed in the liver. So remember, when you have increased estrogen, it boggles down the liver. So it, can, so it lowers the active T3 levels. So what happens is that the thyroid, the liver produces a binding globulin protein called thyroid bonding globulin. Now the function of that, that's the taxi cab. What it does, that takes the, the taxi cab to shunt the thyroid hormone throughout the body. But the problem is, is that it doesn't open the doors. So you have this taxi cab that's trying to shunt all the active T3 throughout the body, but due to the high increase of estrogen levels, what it does, it doesn't open the doors. So this is where you get the circulating low levels of T3. Because again, just rewind it, T4 and T3, they bind to the thyroid bonding globulin. So you're going to have a less free T3 hormones, hormone levels throughout the, throughout the, uh, the tissues to use. So what happens when you get blood work done, this is when you get a thyroid panel, this is when you have increased levels of thyroid blind, uh, binding globulin levels. It's due to the fact that you have low bioavailable thyroid hormone. You have low T3. Now what happens then, it sends a signal to the brain to say, hey, I need more thyroid horm hormone. I need more thyroid hormone. So this is where, again, increased estrogen, lowers your circulating T3, then sends a signal to the hypothalamus, to the anterior pituitary gland, to the thyroid gland, to say, hey, I need more thyroid stimulating hormone. And then this is where, if you go to 
a practitioner and they just test a couple a couple markers T4 and TSH but again what I'm doing is that I always recommend a full thyroid panel because I want to see the I want to see how your body is utilizing all the thyroid hormones that you have available to your system so what do you do so the main goal is I always recommend the main goal is to lower the estrogen whether it be a, a female or a male you want to lower your estrogen how do you get that how do you increase those estrogen levels I always look at diet do you eat a lot of soy Sugar, processed foods, dairy, gluten, wheat, standard American diets loaded with estrogen. Alcohol, beer, beer is liquid bread. That is going to increase the estrogen levels, especially in males and females too. So the main thing is you want to clean up the diet. Foods, cruciferous foods, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale. Cruciferous foods are high in nutrients which will help clean out the liver. It helps detox the liver. Remember, the liver is what processes estrogen and thyroid hormone. So the main thing is, again, broccoli, cruciferous vegetables, all that stuff. Supplements, DIM, okay, DIM, 200 milligrams daily and dandelion root. That will help clean out the, and detox the liver pathway to lower the estrogen to increase the thyroid hormone conversion. So I hope this helps. Again, there's a lot of situations that I come across where thyroid hormones and hypothyroid can, the first and foremost, I always say, let's clean up your diet. Why? Because with the thyroid binding globulin markers, if those are elevated, that means that you are producing it, but you're just not utilizing it. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and have a good day.